In this video, we'll learn about how you can install Kubernetes and create a local cluster on your system. But imagine that you want to quickly test something on your Kubernetes cluster, but it is not readily available and you don't want to set up an entire Kubernetes cluster. There are some services that you can use, such as Play with Kates, that provides a Kubernetes playground, which is similar to Play with Docker. But in this particular session, we'll learn about how you can install a Kubernetes cluster on your local machine. There are many, many other resources and many ways via which you can do that. But uh, imagine if you're using Docker Swarm and we have Docker for Mac or Windows, or we can also run it natively on Linux, right? And execute a single command like Docker Swarm in it, and that's it. That's all that's needed to create a local Docker Swarm cluster. Can we accomplish the same simplicity with Kubernetes? The answer is yes, and the answer is Minikube. So we can use Minikube to set up a Kubernetes cluster. But before that, let's talk a bit more about what is Minikube. It is used to create uh, you know, uh, your Kubernetes cluster in the case that you want to install it on the system, but you have very limited resources. Minikube is an all-in-one system. That is, no multiple architectures of master and worker node are required. And the same system acts as the master as well as, as the worker node, even though this is not ideal, but uh, it can be used for testing purposes and it creates a single node cluster inside a VM on your laptop and uh, even though like it's not idle for like production but uh, since we won't be able to demonstrate some of the features Kubernetes provides in a multi-node setup it should be more than enough to explain uh, most of the concepts that are used behind Kubernetes. Later on when we'll move into more like a production ready environment something using a cloud provider like Sivo for example so then you'll be able to explore all the other features that cannot be demonstrated on Minikube. But before we dive into Minikube, there are a few prerequisites that we should probably set up. And the first one of them being is kubectl. Kubectl, as you can see on the screen, is a Kubernetes command line tool, and it is used to manage a cluster and applications running inside it. We'll be using kubectl a lot throughout this course, and um, you know we'll be uh, we'll be learning about all the commands that are available and all these other things. Without further ado, let's get started with the installation of kubectl. 